Hello and welcome. Uh, this movie is about QSP and the QSP28. Uh, the platform is getting more popular also because the 100 gig switches are now coming more and more. And uh, I would like to address the following things uh, QSP and QSP28 interfaces, the list uh, of types we have, and multiplexing CWM, DWM possibilities of it. First of all, what is the QSP? Uh, well, the, uh, the normal version, the normal QSP is 40 gig, uh, so line rate 40 gig Ethernet or 4 times 10 gig. QSP 28 is the successor which does 100 gig or 4 times 25 gig, which is then uh, you need an SFP uh, 28, which is the SFP with 25 gig. Most of the time they are four lanes of 850 nanometers. If you have a single mode, uh, it's typically uh, a mixed version. So inside of the uh, LR version, there is a uh, laser which muxes four lanes of single mode fiber of 1270, 1290, 1310, and 3030 together till, uh, so it can work on an LC patch. And uh, it demultiplexes it uh, as well to also four lanes, of course. There are five different types of cues of peace. In, uh, for the most simple one has an MPO connector. Uh, then we have them with uh, duplex LC connectors as well. You have direct attach cables in a copper and also in fiber. You have the breakout version, which is basically a QSFP to SFP plus, and you have an SFP plus converter, which is a 40 gig to or 100 gig to 10 gig SFP plus. So you can see that here you can plug an SFP plus in there and then you have a 10 gig port instead of a 40 gig port. These are the versions uh, we can supply you with. Uh, for the multi-mode, we have uh, an MPO version and a dual LC version. Uh, the alias is uh, SWDM or a BD for this as well. Um, the LC is, of course, a higher price because it needs another technique for that. Uh, and the QSP SR is an easy to break out in 4 times 10 gig as well with a breakout cable. For the single mode, we have three versions currently. Uh, the simple LR with dual LC, the LR with MPO, uh, that's the one that I will discuss later. It's a special one and an ER which goes to 40 kilometers. There are no plans of getting an 80 kilometers and because of the high attenuation of the 1310 band, I don't expect that shortly as well. Then the last version we have is the QSP duck, the direct attach, which is in active optical or a copper, uh, which can run uh, from 1 to 100 meters, and the duck bow, which is a direct attach breakout. It's actually uh, so uh, a QSP to um, SFP plus or SFP 28 if you have a 100 gig QSP. Uh, this is an QSP that is not known for a lot of people. It's an MPO version uh, with LR, so single mode. Uh, so it's got 4 times 10 gig single mode at 1310 uh, in 2 kilometers or 10 kilometers version. And you need a breakout cable if you want to use 4 times that, uh, the Cup SM MPO uh, times uh, 8 LC. It's ideal if your data center is default, everything is single mode, or if you need one of those lines to go 10 kilometers to an offsite location. Then a question that I have a lot is uh, QSP multiplexing. Well, there are no DWM or CWM 40 gig or 100 gig uh, coherent lasers around. They could be there, but they are like $100,000. But they uh, commercially seeing they're non uh, at this moment and they are non in plan as well for the coming year. The only possibility to do this is now to use the uh, LR or ER uh, on the upgrade of a MUX and that looks like this. Uh, you have an LR or an ER laser with the four colors. You put that on the upgrade port of the MUX Upgrade is the band from 1270 to 1450 and that is multiplexed together with the other colors as you can see here. For CWM you have all your colors here and you have your QSFP color here on the upgrade port. And for DWM it's the same, uh, only you have your channels here around 1550 and here you have your channels around 1310. And that's how you can multiplex them and that's the only possibility right now. Okay, thank you very much.